as everyone doing today. Just a quick update. Excuse the fag. I bought the missus the cry cut machine, the maker, cry cut maker. And we spent about three days, I think it was last week, getting it to cut properly. It missed a little bit of this gasket, but it'll still run. It's only going on a blower. Still BG. Eighty five, I think eighty six. That one. So I've cut the generic gaskets. I'm going to get in and make these ones. These are the 009, 010, 11012 carb gaskets. Honda carby intake. So the engine side right on the head side gaskets. They're cut perfect. BG86 cylinder. Uh, these are the 0 0.8 mil gasket paper. Won't cut them properly. And the Honda ones are the 0 0.5. Cuts them perfect. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'll just check the fit of this one while I'm here. It'll do the job. Slide it on with the carby. Yep, once it tightens down, actually I don't think that's thick enough, hang on, I've got the, the wrong way. Sorry, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see. Beautiful. Just doing this before I go to bed. I've got a earlier start that I thought tonight. I'm gonna go get a load of sand before I do asphalt. For the concrete plants. That one might restrict airflow slightly. This blower has had a base gasket delete. Because I ripped ripped the original. That's why these are made. So both gaskets are on. In the air filter, I can't remember where I put it. This car, this air box, complete air boxes had an ultrasonic clean. I bought one of those. And since I bought it, I've used it a lot. Yeah, it's 
for the bottom of the rest of the part. Body, excuse me. I think I mentioned previously I bought so this one down here with the AVs, the O excuse the mess, I still gotta clean up everything. That one there's the one with the A V. BG 86C with AV mounts. The same guy bought the coil and starter off for that. I bought pretty much this whole blower off him times two. Um, The engine out of this one originally two of the holes mounting holes for the engine into the chassis were stripped and <clears throat> the guy I bought it off had two engines left I messaged him on eBay and got him to send me both. The cylinder on one, the exhaust side was welded to itself from heat. I think that's it there. Now this one had broken studs, bolts in the exhaust ports side and the other one the exhaust side's completely melded so I used the bottom end out of one and the top end out of the original engine put it together and it was had noisy bearings. So there's six two oh twos. Um I reused Well I had three bottom ends so I just made one good bottom end out of the two out of the three. Linkages, he had three, he sent all three to me. It was after I put this one together, I realised I didn't have a throttle linkage. And now I can't get this throttle linkage in the carb. He sent all three because they were pretty, pretty worn. Now they go to the carb. Originally, I bought, I bought all these. Cut, oh, just put that on there without putting the fuel hose on there. I've got to take it back off. Originally, I bought all these parts to sell this, but I sold that Honda four stroke yesterday. And I've got another two stroke up for sale. BG72. I've already sold two previous. So I've built this one for me to keep for myself because I've got that one down there with the vacuum vacuum kit on it. And this one with the blower, so I don't have to spend time changing attachments. I've got I've got that kit that blower vacuum kit sixty dollars Australian 
for the memory. I didn't pay that on a hell of a lot for it. I know that much. I won it on eBay. It was an auction, not a buy it now. But they're, I think, a hundred and. I think they're hundred twenty dollars with the Mulcher blade. No, they're one hundred and twenty dollars with the mulch blade, or ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents for the just the vacuum kit with the bag and the two hose, two pipes. Just look at the air. The filter on these are funny. So they're just dishwashing sponges. Not quite. That's I've seen a couple now with this exact filter. So this this must be a BG. It is. It's a BG fifty six C. So they're the they're the entry level. Exactly the same as the. 86 but cheaper exactly the same engine I've, I've had I've dealt with four engines now they're all exactly the same <coughs> it's a bad one let's see if this no that won't come on because I forgot this plug The only difference between the 56 and the 86 is the air filter that I can tell so far. Yeah, it still doesn't fit nice. It's a bit loose, but these are the ones that have got the small RZ7C plug, tiny. Thought I'd let you know, you probably already know, but it's the same plug as the MS211 takes. This is N NGK, by the way. I don't use Champion. I don't even know if Champion do that size. I've got two of these ones inside, next to the cry cut machine. If they made a scrunch this size, instead of using shifter, adjustable wrench for you guys in America. We call them shifters here, and pipe wrenches are Stilsons. taking the original Bosch, this Bosch plug is out of the one on the ground there. Uh, I also bought today, I've got to transfer the money to the bloke, a Husky Rancher 50. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it. The bloke I sold the Honda blower to is after a Husky. I don't want to sell my Farmer Tech 371 or the 359 or the 45. Ho hopefully I can work myself up to sell the Rancher 50 when I get it. The guy I bought it off couldn't get it running. Uh, he said it's got heaps of compression and spark. 
probably just the carbon kit and seals. Hopefully it's not seals, but if it is, it is. I don't really worry me. I'll get them off Sean and we'll go from there. Bar and chain, I'll get off Sean. Okay, so the new plug's in. Directly, I've got to go to work, but I've been waiting for these gaskets for a week. Well, I wanted the originals back, but these ones will be better than the originals because the originals were pretty thin. T27 still. Good quality. Uh, this one does not have the spark arrestor screen in it either. That's how I got the that's how it come. This is part of the Originally was a part of the that big pile of parts I got in the filled the car with the husky rail saws and the, the 45 on the bench there. You probably won't see that because the screen will go small when I edit it. Yeah, it was missing the arrest the screw in, you know the screw in the arrest the screen exhaust port thing. Not to worry. It's staying with me, I'm not gonna sell it unless someone I know comes here and spots it. So we might do a quick start up and check she's still sealed. Just got the knob choke, twist it that way. It's gonna go. it heats up it doesn't make that much bearing noise um, I think it needs a little bit of a retune because of the new carby gasket but she's good see how much fuel evaporated out of it while I had it apart none still full okay that's that one done. I can't hang it up because there's a weed whacker there to be repaired. Sit it there. It's got a 56 solder on it, but it's a, it's an 86, I believe. Yeah, 86 CE. Um, I'll put this this way. 
can't even put the original plug back in it. Then I'll, then I'll start this and then I'll have to go to bed because it's about three. Three something, I'm gonna start work about six. I think. It's gotta be a crap socket that fits. Sixteen mil. It sounds like five eighths. Where is my breaker bar? There. Sixteen inch mil, I mean, not inch. Alrighty, this one. There's a JB weld in this screw behind here that holds the engine in. Um, different carb, this is the original. That elbow is broken off completely. It was still in the hose. This carb is still alright if I can find another one of those. Which doesn't really matter because I've got two that run. So this one's this one's got the kill switch you just push down. That kills it. And you can full throttle it without holding the trigger. That one you can't. Okay. That's, yeah, this one's opposite. Know my mate Jonty that I'll get that I got this for. It's just a Ryobi grass scorpion. He doesn't want a bench shaft, so I got him a straight shaft. Ten dollars from the tip, it runs. Never had a problem, only it was missing it's missing the guard. He doesn't use it. So it came with this head. the one that you gotta loosen this tighten it back up 
didn't have any line in it. Um, all I'd done was I cut my finger open to sharpen the chain completely. It took a chunk, it sent a chunk fly. Um, Put a pair of shifter in there just to do undo it and it completely snapped aluminium trap what I found on eBay I found excuse me the exact replacement it's the echo bump feed this isn't a bump feed so $23.80 or something I'm gonna get two of those because I've got a still FS220 AV over there I want to put into service. So I'm getting two. Hopefully they're both the same. That's the left hand thread. I believe 1.25 mil. Picked up this little fella. It's a 110. 8, 986 model. Show you his look. Side cover's got no chain brake hardware in it. Which doesn't worry me. Nineteen eighty six on the build plate. I don't know if you can make it out. Yep. Man, fires and runs, but it needs. It's got an air leak somewhere. I'm going to say seals. Um. But I was kind of hoping. AVs and everything else will fit the 119. It might, I don't know. If it doesn't, then it stays like this. Throttle lock works, kill switch, choke. self-explanatory six ten air leak as well started and raced away I think it hit full throttle before Misses can make the carby gaskets for this as well. That's where this one's gone. Um, I've got this for parts for my 650. 650. It goes. It cuts. I mean, I owned a 650 when I was, was the first saw I owned, 17, 17, 18 years old. But mine seems to be governed too low. So I've done the high, I've done the tune, the high screw, I've gone. As lean as I can go without it, with before it wants to cut out at full throttle, and I've gone rich and I've gone in between. 
it's, it's still slow. Um, the one I owned when I was a teenager, it, re it ran that well that it vibrated all the screws out underneath. All these, this whole plate, this whole plate fell off when I was cutting. So after that, I mounted onto a push bike, took the clutch off, and welded a, a 13/16 spark plug uh, socket to grip the tire. And it, as far as I know, it still goes now. So yeah, I've got that in the 650. So that grass scorpion hanging there with the handlebars, that's that's my boss's. Snipper they use at the yard, needs a top end. I've got three, three whole units sitting on the ground here. So that's what that's gonna be happen there. Yeah. 6.10 Bit broken off for the chain break mechanism but I'm thinking of completely removing it the band and just have a non-chain break model not quite sure what that does there, actually. Anyone know what that does? Seems to just sit there, flap around, I believe, because that's... It's a bit tight. size of the spark box spinner, yeah. Roger. So this one just wants to flush around. I don't think that's on properly. That's strange. Why doesn't that lock? I'll just loose, literally just loosen this and it doesn't want to op uh, operate anymore. It's coming off. <laughs> Doesn't even work anymore. What a pain. don't remember him being like that. So that just, the slightest movement. Something ain't right there. I don't think, I don't know. That's all. 
it's all coming out. I'll use it as a non chain brake. Oh, yeah. I'll just check this air filter cover out of the Tanaka. It's been sitting in the. That's just been sitting, I didn't even turn it on. You'll see the, the difference. It's filthy, that's why I just let it soak. I haven't switched it on today. But it's definitely working. Uh, I got the ended up getting that while well, I've got is here. Remember the A23 So it's a race saw at the moment, no chain brake hardware. That's the starter I was talking about, that's the Victor starter handle, I've got a, an original somewhere. Right here. So I ended up sourcing an 025. 021, 023. They're all the same. Starter in Mickey Mouse condition. As well as air filter cover. Doesn't go on because it's an MS air filter but that'll match the saw um, that's a muffler from Sean I don't know if I've shown anyone they're pretty uh, they're opened up more than the OEM ones if that makes sense but you don't need the muffler mod them they're already modded this one I just opened the louvers up and there is a spark arrestor screen solder door or whatever to the front you can't take the front piece off it's a one piece muffler <clears throat> that's the chassis it's going to go in it does need a good clean but that this one is in better condition than that one. That's gone yellow. So yeah, thought I'd pop in and give us a heads up of what's going on. Um, once I get the Husky 50, I will film that. We'll do that together over in the man cave obviously I've still got to clean the workbench off over there and sort some saws out I'm gonna clean up in here again so I can use my chain grinder I've got a little one here but they're rubbish I've got the Got the Oregon pot right there. That's that 029. The spare, the spare cradle, if you will, that come in that. clean that come in the um, whole lot of the parts and whatever and it's got a the 039 engine in it the 029 sorry it's got the 029 crank so OEM crank bearings no the bearings are new Timken, Timken brand bearings, new seals. And 
can't even see that. There must be oil if that's all. Brand new, brand new oil hose. Ah, all I need for that's a flywheel, because all the what, genuine ones I've got the shared keys. Chain brake handle, and everything else I've got. Farmatech. Farmatech re handle. I'm going to keep the saw, so I might as well just put it together with that, and one of the grandkids can have it when I get them. So this is a 170 muffler, half muffler modded. But I found another OEM one, the one I built for myself. It's an 017 actually. All I need for this is trigger presence in this piece. It's got the adjustable carb in it. OEM black muffler. 180 engine. Apart from that, I've got a, I'm gonna take my 371 out. Next time I go cutting, I'll get the missus to film me. Uh, 24 inch bar and it'll be about 21 to 22 inch round logs. It's actually a tree, but I've already taken one, one fork, if that makes sense. So that it'll come out like that. I've got this one. This side was bigger, it'll fill the trailer. The other side, fill the trailer, the other side will probably overload the trailer, but First axle I hafted, it only lasted two blocks of timber and the, the handle snapped. So I've been using this, I'll show you. Remember that one I got from the... This one was over in the cave. The handles... cracked from about there till about there this is that auto elect tape um, material tape it's a pretty good splitter this mall whatever you want to call it it's a splitter only thing is I've got to find a wedge because some enough enough put a screw in it I'm sick of bending the head back down, so I'll make. I'll probably just even make a wedge and put it in there. Take a bit more material out and get it proud. Actually, it sits proud, just. It's a good splitter. I might even re-handle it one day. <coughs> Still got me Holtz Brook to hang. Split and profile, kind of. That sat in a vinegar bath for two days. That Holtz Brook head. Um, was flake, pretty flaky. 
still got a haft. Plum, four and a half. She's pretty worn up the toe, but it's not gonna get used. And my Kelly Flint edge, I don't know where I even put that head. Should be sitting here too. Flint Edge with the stamp, best axe ever made on earth or whatever it says, in the world, best axe in the world. Still gotta do those. Um, I'm thinking of getting Killinger handles, but I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'll message him on Facebook and see, ask him what the price of postage will be to Australia. I'm thinking 32 inch because I'm six foot four. Although the 28, the other two handles are 28 inch, they're Aussie made, but they're not. They say hardwood, but when they crack open, they just look like pine, but soft. Anyway. I've got to go to bed. I've got to have a shower first and then go to bed and get up and go to work. Have a good day, night, evening, rest of the week. See you when I see you again. It was good coming in here and let you know what's been going on. As soon as I get the Husky 50 in the mail, we'll do an unboxing. unboxing and diagnosis all in one I think and then we'll work out what we need and I'll order it judging by which carb it's got I might even have a kit here and tonight while I'm not doing nothing at work I'll search seals Might even I might even do a full rebuild on it, just you know, bearing seals, gaskets. It's cheaper for me to buy the whole gasket kit with the seals in it than to just buy seals. Anyway, we'll worry about that when it comes to it. Hooroo.